Hello everybody, this is Jabber Dude, and as you can see, we're going to be playing Dark Souls 2. Um, I've already played through this game and beaten it twice, and I'm playing through on New Game Plus and stuff like that a few times. So this is just going to be mainly for fun, and for those of you who have not seen the game, this will be a chance for you to do so. Uh, let's begin. We will be playing online. I'm sure there's going to be some PvP. This is the PC version. You can see the version and calibrations and junk up there in the top. I'm going to delete this character that I just made on accident. Here's all my former ones. You can take a look at them real quick. Got Major Armstrong, Cello, Seraphim, Cello, and Theon Greyjoy. Yep. I have about 220 hours in game and uh, I'm, I'm not the best in the world but we're getting there. Let's go. Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky forgotten land. Where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. For that, 
is your fate. The fate of the cursed. say I really like that opening cinematic although I kind of wish we had more background on like where it was taking place and why your character is there but that's okay for now anyways maybe we'll figure that out sometime in the future when a whole bunch of lore videos start getting posted nothing I've imported stuff so we know we're not like in anywhere in Drang Lake as it was mentioned um, if you guys end up having any questions or concerns about any of the items I will definitely show them off but for now we're just gonna get to it I think you'll pick up on some stuff once we get going <clears throat> that's pretty sad everything at one but anyways we're gonna move right along here Dodging kobolds as we go. Oh, by the way, uh, if I end up, if my commentary ends up suffering a little bit in this video, that would be because it is uh, 4:21 in the morning, and I couldn't sleep, so I figured I would make a video, and you know, relatively tired, but not. I couldn't sleep, so I have enough energy to keep myself awake. So I'm nice to use that energy for something productive. Smooth and silky stone we picked up. Something we can trade to birds, just as in Dark Souls 1. And actually, if you look around right now, I didn't really realize this before, but if you look around, we're rather underground at the moment, pretty far. And if you look over there, it actually looks like those poles, or those uh, trees from uh, Dark Souls 1 in the ashen, uh, what was it? I don't remember what it was called, but the the place with the sand and jump. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty awesome actually. I never really realized that before. Still finding new things all the time. <laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you will become one of them. Hollows prey upon men, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> Is our name indeed? I didn't even really think about what we should call ourselves. Well, let's see. Um, since this is going on the channel, I guess we'll just go with a, a typical. The thing is, I'm going to be female, so I don't really know if I want that to be the case. So let's do something more generic. Um, how about something I always go with? Although there's a lot of these, I was going to go with Zephyr. Zephyr. But there's a lot of those online. Hmm. Names, names, names. Names are always trouble for me. We'll go with... Um, how about Gully? 
Galatia. We'll go with Galatia. Rather unassuming, isn't it? <laughs> At least you know your own name. Here's your reward for sharing. It's like show and tell. It's a human effigy. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Think back, deep into your past. Yes, it's an effigy of you. All right, so now we get to the fun and very long part of things. Um, I already have an idea of what I want this build to be, but um, getting there is what's going to be hard. I'm not sure if we're going to be using any miracles or sorceries or anything like that. I know we're not going to do hexes and sorceries for the most part. Um, I'll probably end up dabbling in faith and then... Um, let's see, what else? I don't know. We'll dabble in faith, probably. I'm tempted to start as a cleric for that very purpose, but I don't know, my start is deprived so we can get our build uh, in the right direction a little sooner. But I don't know, cleric actually might be a better choice for us. I think. Excuse me, I think we're gonna go with Cleric. As for Gift, um, the Life Ring, I don't want that. Human Effigy is kinda useful, but I think we'll have plenty. Healing Wares also will have plenty. Homer Bones, you can buy them in Infinite Supply relatively early on. Uh, Seed of a Tree of Giants can be useful, but not that useful. Bonfire aesthetics. Pretty cool, but we're not going to mess with anything like that until way later in the game, hopefully. <clears throat> Petrified something. Hmm. Petrified something. A simple petrified lump. It may be of use someday. I think we're going to take the petrified something. I'm not sure what I would want, really, from the birds, but oh well. Gender will stay male for. Uh, actually, no, we were female. We already chose Galatia. Um, build. That's that's pretty. It's pretty crazy. I think we're just gonna stay with an average build. Physique. Really normal. Face. You can mess with this a little bit here. Um. Let's see here. I really like the hairstyle, but. I've used both of these before. I haven't really used some of these other ones. That one's not terrible. This one's common. Pigtails. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And a lot of people, I don't say a lot, but quite a few people like this hairstyle for some reason. I'm not a fan at all. Just no thank you. Uh, we're going to go with pigtails. Why not? We're also going to give her greenish tinted hair. Tinted, not completely green. Cerulean-ish. I like that. I like that. I don't know about you. I like that. Eyebrows. <clears throat> Fine eyebrow color. Let's try to do something similar here. That's about right. Eye color. Gotta make this nice and crazy. Um, pink. I kinda like that look actually. We'll go with that. Tattoo. We could give her one of these crazy tattoos. I haven't really messed with the positioning and stuff of them before. So, I don't know. I kind of like this one. Tattoo color. Gonna make that a darker. Something like that. Basically, 
is fine. <clears throat> For advanced settings, we need to move that tattoo. Position one. We don't want it way back there. We don't want it right in the middle of her face either. Up. Ooh. We'll put it over an eye. Or in between. I don't know how I feel about that. But maybe. I'm rather okay with that. We're gonna go with that. Um, angle and size. You can make the size of it larger. Oh my goodness. I didn't think you could mess with it quite that much. We're gonna keep it relatively small. Which in that case, we can put it like underneath an eye. Oh, not that low. A little lower. And then go left. And then change it even more. Yeah, something like that. And then the angle. How about that? Basically make it a little darker. I like it. Cool deal. Um, I don't really feel like changing her face too much more. Let's get on with it. All people come here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm. Doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> They think they're funny. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> these old ladies. Oh, by the way, yeah, pre-order the game. I may or may not use some of this stuff. We'll see. Anyways, um, yeah, wow, I'm, I'm so fast, and actually, I think I'm what locked in sprint mode. Is that what that is? I have no idea. Yeah, I'm locked in sprint mode. I don't want that. Um, keep things. Um, let's see. Auto dash is X. X. Okay. There we go. I was about to say, good lord, I'm fast. But no. Hopefully we can get a, a move on things rather quickly. I rather like our character. Yeah, like I said, I have some experience, 120 hours worth of experience with the game, so hopefully it won't uh, be too rough for us to, uh, you know, get past some of the basic parts of the game, and I'm not going to have too much trouble at all with mechanics and things like that. I've actually just recently been messing with the parrying system. It's a, it's a little rough, but I'm learning slowly. Got a couple different builds going on. Playing like five characters at a time. This video is going to be a little bit long because of the intro. I think it's a little bit loud. Hopefully that's still okay. At least for me. I don't know if it's actually turning it down for you guys or not. But yeah, 
I'll check my my time on this just a second. Oh, you jerk. I think it's kind of funny that the cleric starts off with like nothing but the big old robe. Doesn't start with the uh, the shoes, the gloves, nothing. Along. I'm not going to go through all the tutorial area, just this one, in order to make use of this. Yo, yo, give it move. Yes, yeah. I don't remember the names of these birds. Ooh, a dart nest. You, you, give it smooth. But, um, yes, yes. they're rather annoying. Can we cling tight night? Okay, that's about all I really wanted. You, you, yes. We're gonna go back down here. I could go get a. Oops, let's do that first. I could go and get a ring. But I don't know if I really feel like doing that or not. I don't think I do. Not particularly. I rarely ever use it anyway. I don't want to uh, make this video too long. But. I also don't want this starting video to be nothing but the tutorial. So I think we'll get to I don't know, maybe the second bonfire in the first area. Or the f uh, yeah, probably the second bonfire in the first area. Although, I'm not going to be taking a typical route for most of what comes afterwards. So we'll see what happens. Let me check my time. That's not too bad. We're good. I think we're okay. Are you or bearer of the curse? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Most Go on and see the king. He who made Dranglake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King, bearer no, from I'm, you. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep skipping through Seek, it. One, there's one, one so that to it. bear two is less. Um, I don't want to necessarily through the entire experience, do I? I'm gonna go ahead and come up here and join this guy's coven. You, 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 it, uh, you, it, if for no other reason, then because it could give us some fun experiences later when we get invaded. You, wait. Oops, I see. If you, I will. That's what I get for skipping too fast, right? Do you feel too fast, right? Enjoy, enjoy, go. There we go. May you Alright, we'll go ahead and equip that. I've actually already missed, like, a couple rather important items because... Uh, I didn't want to make this video too long, but it's at a decent length right now, so... I'm not too worried about it. Not at all. There's a blacksmith. I'll worry about him later. Lots of fun things we could do right now. But... We're just going to do a pretty reasonable route. But in order to get some of the weapons we're going to be using, uh, we're not going to go all the way through the standard path. Alright, there's a secret for you. If you didn't know about it, now you do. Go grab that Estus Flask Shard and... Get yourself a nice early second Estus Flask, which I will go ahead and put that on. Bit less. Upgrade it. Boom. Give me that Estus. <clears throat> awesome. Now, let's 
let's go and grab these other items that I missed a second ago. Ooh, actually, let's grab the Homer bones first. Those can be rather important. Depends on what I end up doing. Actually, they're going to be very important because I'm going to have to make a mad dash through a specific area, more than likely, in order to get uh, something that I want. And uh, we'll all have a grand time laughing at how many times I die on the way. But all in good time. Alright, where is it? Right here. On your way to Majula. You can always drop down here. It's not too hard of a job. You don't got to be super accurate. Grab a cleric, sacred chime, and a morning star. Sacred Chime, good if you didn't start as a cleric. Morning Star, good. Period, really. It's a decent starting weapon if you don't like whatever you start with or if you start as deprived with nothing. Alright, we'll rest here. Throw some stuff in here that we don't really care to hold around with us. Throw all this in there. Our mace is relatively sturdy. I think we'll be okay with it. <clears throat> we'll hold on to these other two just in case. Throw that in there. All of this. I don't really care if we are only wearing the robes at the moment. Alright. Now we can come on this way. Because I would like to have the blacksmith first before we go and do anything else. So, okay, let me go ahead and tell you guys a little bit of what I'm wanting to do with the build. I want it to kind of be a surprise so you don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. So, you know, it keeps it entertaining and, you know, things like that. But, um, I want to do a sort of, um, I mean, it's going to be a relatively straightforward kind of thing, to be honest. It's going to be a faith and quality build, I think, is what's going to happen. So we're going to need some attunement, we're going to need some faith, we're going to need some spell or two, and a couple different uh, weapons. So that should be a good time. It's kind of funny, if you guys have ever played Skyrim, that bridge right there reminds me of uh, one of the one of the little areas you go in and you walk across it and you break two falls and you go back across it and you end up having to fight some spiders and stuff. I think it was in the DLC. Oh no 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 actually it was a dawn guard DLC. Anyway, back to the house. I'll infantry on that. Cool. Um, there's a bonfire right here. Come up here and grab this thing. It's kind of cool because this area looks a little bit like the area where uh, Oscar and are shown in uh, other trailers. Early trailers for this or um, I mean, cinematic something or others. I honestly don't remember what I'm talking about. But you know, it's all good. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's stop taking dumb damage. Alright, here we go. Oh! These guys can be very I'm not going to be getting all of the items or anything like that. This isn't like 100% run or something crazy. And it's just a nice, fun Dark Souls 2 playthrough. I find this game much more entertaining, much more, uh, a lot more replayable. Overall, in 
comparison to uh, Dark Souls 1. I love Dark Souls 1, don't get me wrong. But this game, I find to be a little bit more uh, kind of lenient, I guess. But, I mean, also not at all. It's not easy, necessarily. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I, I just really like this. This game substantially more than Dark Souls 1. It's something I can do. Um, like once you get the skills, uh, it's a little bit more reliable in my opinion. To, once you have the skills down, you can play the game and have fun with it and do different fun, unique things. And you don't gotta worry about some of the stuff you had to worry about in Dark Souls 1. I feel like in this... Oh, I should have dodged that. The dodging arrow. I'll say that. But, um, yeah. I don't know. This game is just a little bit... Uh, when you know what you're doing... You... It, I don't know. It, I'm trying to come up with the words for it. I'm struggling here. When you know what you're doing, you can... It actually makes things easier, unlike in Dark Souls 1, when you can know exactly what you're doing and still die in some stupid ways. But, I find that in Dark Souls 2, when you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. And it makes a big difference on your gameplay and, in my opinion, even your you know, entertainment and what not with the game, so... Okay. That's fine. Take a little hits here and there. Ain't nothing to worry about. We got Estus. And we have... Let's be careful. And not get overzealous here. But yeah. We're having fun. I'm having fun. Hopefully you're having fun, otherwise there's no reason to watch. Oh, I just... Oh, I did not know that was possible. Did you see what just happened? He threw the firebomb, and I hit the firebomb out of the air and bounced it back. I didn't know that was even possible. I love jump attacks. They're pretty fun when you can pull them off and... When your enemy is relatively slow, but that was awesome. I can I can't believe I did that. That was cool. Anyway, we are almost at the end of the video here, <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and ask. I guess is what I was gonna say there before you know. Whatever. Anyway, if you like the video, please like the video. Got a life in there. That's nice. He actually can drop his halberd early if you uh, are into that. 20 strength and I think like 12 dex or something. Maybe a little more. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, if you like the video, give it a like. I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. It's going to be rather action-packed, so stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys next time.